mind magics so it is offering lots of courses and one of the courses is tosca uh, we are doing automation testing there are so many tools in the market so what we are going to cover in this particular slides are why do we need automation testing from there we'll start and what exactly is the automation testing process i'm not going to do a comparison between multiple tools and all uh, because uh, most of the people can get that content in the market and all i just want to go in a generic way and most of people who are already there in the automation field they can do the comparison by themselves so why do we need automation testing okay and what is the automation testing process then in order to do that automation testing process how tosca is going to help then we will go through that what is tosca and i will just give an overview of what is the what are the various sections of tosca and then i will tell you what are the various types of testing processes sorry there is a spelling mistake processes not processed processes supported by tosca and testing types so people might be interested what actually tosca can do that is what i am going to take the webinar on i'm not going to do a comparison comparison can be obviously done by people when they go back and then they compare with other tools so let's start with why do we need automation testing most of the people might know that yes if uh, if the time is less and if there is a lot of things to be done then we need automation testing we need some sort of more coverage so testing of all workflows all fields all negative scenarios is time and money consuming which then does not happen with manual testing most of the time when we go what is the best case scenario and the worst case scenario we go ahead with that particular approach and then prepare our manual test cases we run it and then we see but there are chances that there might be slippages into the uat environment as well as in the production if it is not done a little bit of extensive testing automation testing helps in that okay in some cases when when there will be a multilingual site that needs to be uh, rolled out in multiple countries though the object properties remains change uh, does not uh, change but there might be a chance that you might find some problems but the multilingual sites if you need to test it you need automation testing that will be a better option because you do not get people who are fluent in multiple languages but at least you will run the test case in one web uh, one geography you can run it in multiple geographies using the same test case okay another thing is non productive hours non productive hours are like when we are at home at that time if you want to run some test cases manually if you ask anybody to run the test cases in the night they will go crazy manual testers but you can do that achieve that with help of automation testing okay and uh, then you have automation increases the speed of the test execution automation helps to increase the test coverage manual testing can become boring and hence error prone okay so now if if you go ahead with that particular thing then let's move on with what is the estimated, uh, automation testing process automation testing process generally we can de define it this has been taken from some other sites only but this is the generic process of automation testing you select a tool you define the scope of automation you plan design and develop your test scripts you run your test script that is called test execution in the test execution process only you have something called reporting and failure analysis that happens and maintenance when the failure analysis happens either the test case will fall into the category of you need to change the test data you need to maintain the script because there has been a change in the environment or the application and which you need to uh, modify you need to modify your scripts accordingly the otherwise there will be a bug so you will log a bug okay now this is the automation testing process everyone might be thinking that yes this is the process now if i start asking people maybe i can ask few people who can answer what are the very what, what would be the decision factor to select a tool for your automation testing so anybody can give the answer whoever wants to so i will 
they can unmute themselves and after that they can so that it can become a little bit interactive and i'm the, not the only one who is speaking yes what would be the decision factor for selecting a tool for automation price Any, sorry price the cost of yes. the tool yes very good the cost of the tool and then we have something else anybody who wants to prompt the type of the application or the web yes. Or... yes i got type of application okay number uh, it could be uh, availability of the language that one knows and the team knows oh. the team is comfortable with what language for example java compatibility with the oh, team right. compatibility with the team uh, can give a maximum number of coverage like end to end testing end to end testing okay end to end testing okay very good i got a couple of points which would be sufficient enough to decide which, which is my uh, decision factor to select a tool okay so in order to select a tool somebody told cost that is absolutely correct if your budget is less then you need to decide a tool accordingly okay if type of application let's say a classic example would be if you have some applications like mainframes or if you have sap applications then obviously selenium would not be your choice which is an open source less cost and all if you have everything that is uh, roaming around the web world then you can go with selenium okay compatibility with the okay now even if you go with the selenium let's say you have decided to automate the test cases now you your team does not know anything about java coding or python or ruby or c sharp or anything so then you need to induct new people into your team who will be who needs to be trained and on the applications and that time will take some time before you start automating the test cases. Okay, that is a bit of a challenge, but yes, that can be overcome if your organization provides a off-the-shelf, uh, what do you say, framework and all those, those things. Okay, so that can be minimized also, and you have lots of people in the team whom you need to get it trained. End-to-end testing. Okay, that is fine. You have new product which has come into the market, which is on the web only. You you thought that okay let me automate this particular application you automated using selenium and then finally what happened that you need to integrate that particular web-based app testing or web-based test cases with database or maybe with mainframe or maybe with sap as a backend now your decision factor which you decided earlier might go wrong that when you go for an end-to-end -end testing, your things are not working fine as an automated person or automated fashion because you have to break your test case because Selenium just, just supports the web and then, you know, move into the next phase using manual because you have selected a tool which is not doing the end-to-end -end testing. Okay, so now let's see how these all four factors or these all four phases is being augmented by Tosca. So let's move on to the next question, next thing. Why Tosca? Okay, so test tool selection. Now, if I say that Tosca can automate 150 plus types of applications, then automatically your end-to-end -end testing related thing will be covered, right? That means it can do a desktop application it can do a sap application it can do a web application it can do mobile applications it can do web services now i will give you a classic example if you want to do uh, let's say unit testing of a web services you have got your selenium jar files and everything can you do your web services you cannot because selenium is a jar file which comes in the into the uh, comes via selenium.hq.org in order to web services again you need to go for some other library which is open source library and then you need to understand that particular libraries how it works and then you need to fire your web services engine and all those things and then you need to 
create your test cases. But imagine a situation, you are in a very hurry and you need to quickly do a web services testing. It will take a little bit of time for any other tool to adapt. But here, Tosca already gives you this facility that same tool can be adapted with web services. And one more thing, like there is a web services which gives you some result and that result you need to feed it, feed it into some web applications. So then how will you achieve that end-to-end -end scenario? You need to find out a tool or a jar files, jar files which will be compatible to the same reporting mechanism which web services does and Selenium does. So that sort of little bit of hiccups you get and then tool selection when you go for an open source. Here, Tosca is helping you for test tool selection, which is supporting 150 plus different application that is official on the site of Tricentis. Okay, Tricentis is the vendor of Tosca and all, which we'll discuss a little bit. Now, define the scope of automation. Now, how do you generally define the scope of automation? You go to your business person, ask, which are your key functionalities? Can you tell us which are your key functionalities which you want us to automate? Then he says, simple answer he will say, I don't have time, why don't you find it with BAs? B, you go to the BAs, BAs will say, there are requirements, you read through those requirements and check with the functional team. Okay, then you go to the functional team. Functional team tells, tells that I don't have much time. Can you schedule a KT of one hour where I can tell you the briefing? That is very fine. Everything is very nice. You went into the KT, only two, three business flows were discussed. And ideally you end up into having less automation scope unless and until you dig down a bit. What Tosca says, while you create a requirements, at that time only, if you give weightage to your requirement, then we can only tell you that this should be the automation scope. With the weightage mechanism, we can find out which are your critical business functions. You need not have to, I need not have to rush to any automation, I means any business analyst, I need to, I'll just run a query and I can find out that where exactly is that. I will show you all those things in the, uh, tool also and if you want I have some screenshots also where I can show you okay so be patient with me I'm just explaining the various phases okay now so that is automation scope and and then with that particular requirements you can go and get a checkbox with the fun functional team you can I need test cases for these requirements I need explanation of these requirements they will be happy to help you you have solved your half of the problems that is for the defining of a scope of automation. Planning, design, and development. Recently, from 12 version onwards, not 11 version onwards, they have given a test planning section. With that, you can do planning, planning of any Tosca project, any Tosca project, or in fact, any project. But if it is a Tosca-based project, it is easy. If it is not, then you need to feed in values. You can assign tasks, you can track the task, you can track the status of the project in one shot with the test planning section. Now, the best advantage of Tosca is that it has a scriptless scope, scriptless approach of uh, doing the automation scripting. So that helps less experienced people as well as a person who is not having a coding background or a programming background can also create the test cases. But they need to know the basic functionalities of how Tosca works, where to do what, that much level of. Now, if you might to, if you want to understand the training or the, I can say the basic training of Tosca can take maximum one month. But if you ask me, to train anybody on any of the scripting based tools to be an expert to a level to they can create a good test case it will take at least at least two to three months okay because first they need to understand the tool then they need to understand the programming language here the that particular 
thing is reduced by just knowing the two because there is no programming language at all you need to know what to do where that's all okay so how do you achieve the scriptless tool a scriptless approach there is a reusability factor also coming into picture with reusable tester blocks that is rtb templates and test case design you can achieve a high degree of reusability so that you write one test case and you need to maintain only one test case only which can facilitate the automation of let's say 100 test case also in some cases test execution now moving on to the test execution phase test execution happens very easily because execution if you understand any selenium based tool if you are running a test suit if you are running a test suit you need to either run it from alm either run it from jenkins or either run the whole package you cannot run the package via eclipse and all you need to trigger it via test runner file test ng you have to use it so that means first you need to know selenium i'm just talking about the open source uh if i if i go with a traditional tool like uft you need to know first of all script in qtp and you have to run the scripts via alm okay but here within tosca only you can run the scripts so there is no going out of the tool and then doing something out of the box okay if you are using selenium and all so what happens you need to run the, you write, need to write your test scripts in the package you will write it and then what you will do you need to run the scripts using test ng xml files that is the and then you can move on okay but here test execution is easy in order to do parallel execution in order to do parallel execution in selenium you need to get go through the uh, what do you say either you make the test ng as a parallel thing where you have got a parallel execution concept but here in order to parallel do parallel execution you need to just tweak a little bit only and that is a simple concept which you can understand within one class within one class why do you need it what do you need it okay and that is happening within tosca only and everything is visible in front of you so you will be understanding it very easily okay maintenance now somebody says i need one answer from you you people whoever is there whoever is working in selenium or whoever is working in uft or anything okay i need to do an impact analysis i need to do an impact analysis that there is a object there is a test object which has got a change in the object properties how many test cases are getting impacted by that particular test object i just want a simple answer that how many how can i get that when i am doing it in selenium when i am doing it in uft can anybody tell me whomsoever has this answer because you you sometimes what happens when you do failure analysis you need to present them that this particular change has resulted in the failure of these many test cases that is fine but there might be some test cases which you might not have run also that might have also got impacted because in that release you did not need those test cases so what will happen how will you find out is there any way anybody can i can answer is this a big problem big challenge when you want to do an impact analysis yes or no at least that much i can get an answer right anybody willing to or shall i give the answer yeah for sure this is uh, actually a big challenge for like i am working on the selenium for like four years like i found uh, if there is no particular way to find like no particular easy way to find like how, how many test cases have been affected by a one single object and like we have to going through rigorously each of the test cases like these are the test cases for the failure analysis will be affected by changing the uh, uh, by you know i think this of one object in the either is been web or um, but within two clicks 
within two clicks you can come to know that how many test cases are impacted by one single object change within two clicks if you have used that particular test object in thousands of test cases all the list of thousand test cases can be presented in front of you within seconds this is the best thing to understand your impact analysis okay now how many times most of the people in your organization might have ha happened that let's say ram has come into your organization and he created one module or he created one test he identified one test object with some x path i'm talking in selenium terms only somebody else came he did not find out that you have already ram has already created he created a duplicate of that particular test case, uh, test object this is a real time scenario which happens in most of the uh, uh, automation world how if it, even if you identify will it be possible for you to club both anyway any brilliant idea what happens ram has already used those the first xpath related web element in 10 test cases and sham has also come and he has also used he created for the same test object he created another web element with a different name and he has used in another 10 test cases which is ideally not should not be the way same web element should be used everywhere can you do this change easily so that it does not impact the test case and here in the object there should be only one test object can that be a possibility in in any other tool just a simple question i'm asking because that is where the maintenance because everyone in the world is talking about what automate 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 but what happens if the automation fails maintain 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 right whole world is not looking most of the tool is not looking towards how you can reduce the time for maintenance so that you can be ready with your new build or new test case but that particular thing can be achieved which i mentioned just now without impacting the test case section you can merge the test object identification mechanism you can do that and within seconds the linkages between that test object will automatically be remapped that is called module merge concept in tosca okay so that's why and now tell me if these two type of facilities are available okay available to anybody who is doing a execution of thousands of test cases and they say 200 test cases failed or 800 test cases 500 test cases failed he will have a nightmare to do the maintenance and it will take at least one week to make the test cases back to main shape so that's where maintenance is the best thing which you can achieve by task and you can do bulk modifications let's say you have 100 test cases and each and every test case i need to insert one one step one one step at the start let's say i want to add it what could be the best way one one step in the sense or let's say i want to add, add one function in each and every start of the test case if it is a selenium you have to go into each and every test case add that method or add add that call that method and then you have to do it but if you are in tosca you can achieve that you create the method at one particular or a reusable tested block and that you can place it at the exact position within seconds so all the new test cases will follow the new method immediately and that is how you achieve you achieve that by tql and that is called tosca query language that particular window you that is the power of tosca i can say whom, whom. if you ask me everything you can get it from any other tool but maintenance is very easy very powerful in tosca okay I, I being from automation world i have worked in i have worked in QC and all so i know that this is the two power which i did not get in any other tool okay
now let's move on to why tosca i have told and why tosca is something i have done a comparison but not in the terms of like tabular column that this can happen that can happen i'm giving you real time examples and how that can be achieved in another tools and in this tool okay now let's move on to the next thing what is tosca actually now i'm going to start the real demo sort of thing as well as what is tosca and you can understand that now one more thing advantage or something what i would suggest is uh, i know i would like to ask if you opt for a tool like qtp or like selenium based or a scripting based tool there is a challenge one small challenge which most of the people ignore before asking before opting for the tool if you are opting a scripting based tool what exactly you need to do is you need to first of all build a framework am i correct framework and in apart from building the building the framework you need to decide which framework you need to build there are many frameworks which are available in a uh, real world uh, like you have that bdd behavior driven tdd test driven then you have something called uh, data driven testing driven testing hybrid is there in hybrid you have page object model so you need to think about how you can optimize your test cases and all apart from that so these all things you need to build so that means you got a person in your team that's fine who is automation enabled automation enabled and all he knows java everything but when he comes into your organization he says boss you do not have any framework so he spends two to three months to build a good framework it's good that there are big companies who already have invested into the open source and they have uh, built their own frameworks which they leverage in multiple accounts that is fine but what if the client says no i don't like your framework what happens in that case in that case you need to again build a framework so that means there is an extra cost so even if you have automation team member in your team you're not automating what you are doing you are trying to build something so that you can do automate and you can start automation so that two months is gone without any productivity okay now the next thing when once the framework is built then what will happen you need to again start automating so automating the test cases so that person whom you have asked to automate does not know anything about the application because he is new to the account and then you need to explain him after explaining then you he will be coming and then he will be automating he will go back and forth again and again to you to the functional team functional team will say i don't have time these all things and blah blah things so tosca is coming up with a solution why don't you uh, train your functional team members only to automate they know the business functionality just you need to tell them how to automate and the advantage is throughout the world wherever you go the framework remains same so if he moves into different account also if he knows tosca he can start automating and if tosca is present there the moment you get the tosca tool if your functional team members are trained within maybe one month after that functional team members can start automating the test cases that also can happen if they do it properly if the transition happens properly and all but if you ask me i need two members or one one lead who is good in tosca as well as few team members who are good in scripting so that they can guide the functional team also and do the testing so you don't need very big team so that we can save cost to the client we can leverage the knowledge of the functional team to create good test case good logical test case so that is the advantage no one understands with these these particular uh, things and all because they think that okay i need to save some cost go for open source that is fine but you need a person who is very much experienced 
if I ask anybody who is less experienced in Tosca and uh, Selenium and all to automate a script, he will not have a very wide outlook. Wide outlook that how this test case will be run six months down the line also. Because he is not getting the business knowledge and he is not having a very good knowledge on grasp on Java and very much a programming language. But in order to save the cost, people go for a less experienced team members also in the team. That is how it happens and there is nothing to hide. Okay, now let's move on to the Tosca. Tosca test suite is developed by Tricentis and it has four basic portions. That is Tosca Commander, Tosca Executor, Tosca X Scan, and Tosca Test Repository. Tosca Commander is the place where everything happens. Some, some clients uh, have opt for some of the Tosca Commander license and Tosca Executor license just to save licensing cost. Tosca X Scan and Tosca Wizard is the functionality given by Tosca to identify test objects of various types of applications. Test repository is something where you are capturing whatever you capture in Tosca Commander. That particular is saved in a test repository. That means a database. So Tosca Commander needs a database to store the artifacts which has it has captured in the Tosca, Tosca Commander. Okay. Any questions so far or shall I move on because Till now, if somebody has missed also, that is not a problem because now whatever I'm going to show is somewhat a real Tosca, how it looks, what it does and all. Okay. Any questions so far? I'll give a break for one, two minutes. It is a open source or not? Definitely not. Okay. Like Selenium. Sorry? Uh, no, like no, no. selenium it is open source or not no 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 definitely not it is it is a that's why i sold developed by tricentis tricentis is a vendor of tosca and uh, is a licensed tool and okay so and it costs it has a its own cost involved in it. okay and uh, it is dependent by any other language like selenium is dependent by java and like that, a Tosca tool is dependent by any four language. No, no, no language, no programming language, nothing. Okay, okay. but I will tell you some some things which few people in the webinar they might not tell you, but I will tell because I know that. Okay. okay. And one more okay, question. No. Uh, yeah, one question from me. Uh, actually, and uh, how the Tosca will be helpful for the person who is a beginner for the testing things means suppose if a person who is a eight or nine year experience in the developing part and suddenly he's moving in the some automation thing then it, will it's really helpful for them or like the means uh, see if yeah. you have a development background and yeah. if you want to move to automation world yes it can be very much useful because you just need to understand the tool and I believe the developers have a good program, means good logical understanding on how things can be done. So that will help a lot in Tosca. Okay, like where to use verifications, where to use uh, variables, where to use uh, uh, loops, where to use if condition, where to use conditional statements and all. So that all things, if you understand how to do it, you, you will, a developer can, do real magic that how it can be optimized because they have done the development they have led into logical sequencing of the code so like that only you have to do here uh, i have one question this is manish yeah. yes manish. Uh, so like uh, i have uh, basically a five point years of experience in the testing crm testing and the and all the functional testing right now working in the Qualcomm. So like I heard this Tosca tool in my previous company in July. So where uh, I, yeah. uh, you know, right now I'm working in the functional testing and my organization is forcing me to learn the Selenium, Selenium, Selenium. But you okay. just put on over the Selenium and all other tools, uh, the Tosca. So my question is uh, like, it's very, maybe I know, sorry, this is a valid question or not, but still it is not in very much demand. Since you are saying that it is, it can be learned by anybody who is not a, a technical skill or like uh, any coding skills. Correct. 
uh, there are so many jobs on the selenium also selenium api testing uh, rest api soap api but no tosca jobs is not not there actually i'm not seeing can okay. you please on this now i will tell you there is a reason behind it because of its licensing cost okay in one in one line i can tell you because this is see if 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 something makes your life easy then it will be costly right yeah that is the that is the genesis of the world if if there is a robot if there is a okay. robot or a machine which makes life easy that will be a costly tool so that's why it is and selenium why people opt for it if i equate in terms of what i told just now in order to get a selenium experience person in the market you need to pay quite a lot okay and then the even if you force anybody to learn selenium i'm pretty sure within after six months only if they do rigorous training then only they can create a good test script in selenium because i have been in that situation i know that we have given test cases to be built by people who are less experienced and the test cases breaks every now and then and just to contain the cost organizations prefer in the long run it will be a night and it becomes a night okay okay uh, so uh, like uh, right now i'm doing a functional testing right is, yes hi sir yeah yeah now this is mohammed right, this is suga here right yes, yes, the yes, question yes, everyone hi everyone uh, this is rajan from mind magic please please uh, please shoot out your questions after the session like uh, so a trainer will be available for your question and answers so please shoot out your questions after the session yeah that oh, is also sure, sure, sure. We'll, we'll move on yeah. then okay now this is the tosca first window whichever you will see and this window does not change throughout the world wherever you go this window will remain like this only you will have test cases section you have module section requirement section test cases design section execution issues configuration test planning apart from this also there is reporting section also okay people who have worked on klm and all they know that they have different different sections to perform different activities similarly here also test cases section you write your test cases module section you capture your test objects requirement section you create your requirements link your test cases test case design section you this is the usp of tosca and none of the tool in the market can do this magic what test case design does okay that is my my understanding for all, all the tools whichever is there in the market it can do multiple combinations and all those things which i cannot tell in the demo or the webinar and all it is something which you need to experience when i explain people then you will say wow this is something okay execution section you put your whatever test cases you have created that you uh, run in the execution section issue section is the defect, defect section you create your defects and link your runs i mean link your defects to the runs in the execution section configuration section you create configurations which can be mapped to multiple sections that also you can do test planning section as i mentioned you can do a test planning also in tosca apart from this there is one more section that is called reporting section so now think about a situation you have got one tool which can do manage each and every phase of your testing automation testing manual testing even people might be thinking that tosca is only for automation testing. mark my words you can run manual test cases also with tosca okay so now if you understand the situation you have lots of tools in the market in your organization all tools clubbed into one tool that is what tosca does that's why one particular license is expensive people think about in that direction but i have seen organizations like i know there is some uh, insurance based organization somewhere in europe they do manual testing via tosca and they are doing quite well doing quite well. okay now moving on hi this is suja here just one question okay 
just one okay yeah yeah actually the um, tosca is a programming language is not required as much so mainly so why market selenium is huge demand in tosca is not demand currently ah. maximum use the selenium any okay. opening is in nokri and something we are say tosca is very less for if the yeah. count maximum one percent or two percent and rest of percent is selenium okay is java python okay now there are two three reasons for that one tosca started coming into picture when it started coming into picture 2014 or 15 onwards where the uh, marketing people of tricentis they started marketing and most of the uh, marketing since it is an european based uh, vendor so most of the europe market was captured by tosca slowly slowly okay now and then they move towards us and in us if you say that i want to take money from your pocket to do something just a joke sort of thing they will little bit skeptical and that's why when when it comes to the licensing part then they are skeptical and people love coding in us so that's why most of the people are go for selling and after 2012 or onwards most of the programming or most of the development is happening in cloud am i correct most of the people are most of the development is happening because desktop application no one wants to build everyone wants to build a web application no one wants to build any uh, so either there will be a api testing or either there will be a web testing that's how the market is moving towards but when it comes to end to end testing no one wants to invest much amount of money and that is where tosca comes into picture that wherever there is so if you are doing web testing and if you don't want to invest much amount of money in the selenium uh, means uh, uh, end to end testing then you can go for obviously selenium that's why you get most of the development wherever it is happening but the problem occurs when after some time when the selenium there is a bloat bloat in the sense there will be lots of test cases and it is unmanageable okay there then they are people there are projects which are switching from qtp to tosca there are projects which is switching from selenium to tosca that is happening especially in australia and europe but in us the pace is less so that's why most of the clients which we are dealing with are us clients so that's why you are not getting so much of requirement and people will come back to tosca will there will be requirements now there are only two types of jobs in the market one is selenium one will be tosca if there are 10 jobs in the market for automation testing seven will be for selenium three will be for tosca still yes, i will yes. be i'm i'm i will not hide anything from you because that is how it yes, is yes, happening yes yes okay 70 percent market will be the selenium but slowly 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 the penetration of tosca into the automation testing world will be more because one tool gives you flexibility of doing so many things and when people realize slowly slowly doing that then people will start adopting since the tool is new people are skeptical that why we should go there will be a knowledge gap right there will be a knowledge gap there will be lots of people who are knowing java and they're not doing anything now right so how will how will organizations so their organization push is also required right there will be organizations who wants that okay my i have been, uh, i have now the mass of 10000 people who knows selenium and suddenly if tosca captures the market then the service provider all the people will go out of job how will they manage the situation of being on bench and on there are cases where where the organization where i am working client is suggesting why don't you go for tosca so then there is no choice we need to go for tosca but service provider is telling we will go open source so that that's how means there is a push and pull happening so slowly slowly tosca will gain momentum 
and this year it is 7370 ratio to next year it will be 6040 ratio you will see but you will see the that. license cost is there no is very high yes yes it is high it is high because That's for the I reason think. qtp or uft market slow down because due to license cost selenium is a open source what the reason maximum is the main thing selenium is a open source this is the main thing yes yes that is the most important thing but the challenges if you see the challenges of both the things means if if the challenges of qtp is similar to selenium then why to pay for the license but the challenges which qtp had has been removed by tosca then people will at least give a chance to talk correct yes so that is where tosca will come into picture because the challenge was people did not know coding and you need to force people to do the coding and even if there there are people who cannot do coding even if you teach them 100 times because it is a little bit tricky to do the coding and all you cannot build the logic quickly quickly and all but the but with tosca you might not have to go for that level of coding knowledge okay moving on so i believe i will stop for um the questions and uh, i will i will stop for the next particular thing these are the various processes which are supported by tosca i will run through the processes and then i will take you to another slide where i have the screenshots where you can test planning requirement gathering test case designing test object identification custom modules test scripting test execution reporting defect management test suit maintenance test data management these are the various automation testing processes which can be done within tosca within that particular tool one tool all these activities how this can be done i will just go for another slide which i have already so this is how how we do the test planning so test planning there is a section where we create a test a session session in the sense project start date and end date we assign the users to the session and we assign tasks to the users and the moment you assign tasks to the users when he goes into the tosca in my area he will be able to see the tasks which has been assigned so assignment of tasks tracking of tasks overall progress can be done by test planning but if you move on uh, if you ask me that uh, this is not so popular section of the tosca because still people do not understand people need to be educated that this can be done by tosca requirement gathering this is a beautiful section of tosca if you do it there is a concept of weightage if you put the weightage of a requirements you can see you can create a requirement set requirements and under that you can do a test case test case assignment and then requirements you can put the weightage based on the weightage you know that which particular test case is of much more importance much more importance that in that way you can decide which test cases needs to be executed or which test case needs to be automated you can also link the requirement test requirement set to the execution list to know the execution percentage of the test cases moving on test case design section for the time being you just understand that if you want to create multiple test cases based on your test data then you can achieve that with test case design section as well as if you have created a model based testing mechanism you can put conditional statements using test case design section so this uh, my pardon i cannot explain this particular thing within the demo or the webinar but this is when you join the classes this is out of the shelf this is out of the box and you can do wonders with this particular section and this particular section usage of this section allows you to have maximum reusability okay now <clears throat> test object identification test object identification mostly happens in most of the tool by its locators or by its properties that generally happens but tosca has come up with too many things four different things one is by properties by anchor by image by index by properties is something which you say that uh, whatever its locator properties or identification properties by that if it is unique that is fine if it is not unique by that also then you can go by an anchor a very good example which i can give you 
you are in a very crowded place which is not so often because of this corona and all but um, if you are in a crowded place and your friend is calling you where are you you say that i am beside a person who is wearing a red cap so what do you do first you find a person in a red cap and beside that you find your friend so that is called identify by anchor anchor is your person who is in a red cap and you are the test object which needs to be identified with help of anchor which is the red cap person so like that with that mechanism we can find test objects with anchor identify by image you can find test objects directly by image also but image based scanning is not a preferred option by tosca because we don't want uh, the when the resolution changes or something changes then it will be nightmare for us to automate things and all okay now identify by index so let's say there are 10 10 test objects with a similar properties similar everything then you can identify by index also let's say you want to click on the third checkbox of the whole page so you can do that by identify by index apart from that you can identify by parent recently tosca has started a facility recently not i can say one year back when there was 11 or two years back when there was 11 version onwards you can identify test objects via xpath also so these are the various object identification mechanism okay now moving forward now somebody told that or see any tool in the market whatever is being built that needs to be built with some programming language correct so the tosca has been built on a programming language which is c sharp okay and you can create you can write your code in tosca also most of the people might not be saying you but i am very frankly saying you can write a code of your own in tosca using vb script using c sharp which you call as custom modules or custom engines whichever you want to call it okay so you can write your core attach that to module whatever is written in the code that will be done by tosca okay and done by tosca in the tense you have written a script that go and uh, do a looping sort of thing on a excel based uh, excel it will go and do that okay so you can write a code in tosca using vb script and c sharp anything which you want if you know coding you can do it if you love coding you should do it okay test scripting anything which you want to write a test script you need to have some features available in tosca which can make your robust test case so for that what you need most of the programming language has looping mechanism tosca also has looping mechanism do and while loops are present most of the programming language has if so conditional statements are applicable you the thing which other tool does not have is the template concept which takes the data from the test case design section that is not present anywhere so here you can see that this is a template t with a test case icon that is a template test case and then when you instantiate it takes the data from the test case design and instantiates and create as many number of test cases which you have put in the test case design section now how do you achieve reusability in other other tools like uft and uh, selenium you create a method in java for selenium and that method you call as many number of times Tosca also gives the same facility you create a reusable block you call it a number of times so that is how do you do a uh, handle exceptions in any other programming language you have recovery scenarios for uft you have try catch block for selenium here you have called recovery scenarios okay recovery scenarios you also go for cleanup scenarios in tosca cleanup scenarios let's say you have uh, some some error occurred in your test cases and all you want to uh, close all the browsers and all that can tosca can automatically handle that okay now test scripting which you are telling test scripting can be done manual test cases also can be created in tosca automated test cases also can be created in tosca the best advantage of creating manual test cases is that you read the manual test cases and just 
drag and drop the modules onto that it will automatically convert that manual test case into an automated test case that is the beauty of tosca if you create manual test cases in tosca okay now moving on test execution best feature of tosca that anything which you want to do in tosca you can execute in the execution list run it you can get the logs everything there is a concept if you have let's say your team is you are a team lead okay now you want to run all the test cases which you have uh, which your team has already ran it or created in that particular folder okay so you are told that create all the test cases 10 team members are there and all those test cases you just want to run it at the end of the day you can do it with a two clicks only with you need not have to ask who has done what test cases can you send me your test cases so that i can add that into the test runner in uh, uh, mostly in case of selenium and uh, wherever whichever tool you want you just do a right click do a synchronize whatever test cases has been created newly in that particular folder it will automatically synchronize and you can run it it is ready to run now in order to run a test case simple one test case let's say you have 100 test cases in the loop and one test case you want to run 10 times and rest all test cases one one time only if that is a scenario it will be really tricky to manage the situation in selenium or uft if you have not created a framework accordingly there are ways by which you can do it but what if you want to run the test case simple one test case but that can be achieved by going into that particular test case add repetition as as many number of times that is a very good concept now if you want to do a parallel runs in multiple machine you can achieve that by using the test mandates concept and all that is a very beautiful feature of tosca reporting section reporting section is something uh, tosca does not have a structured uh, what do you say sql sort of uh, structured database so you cannot you cannot do a sql queries on tosca database you have to go with a tosca query language only by that you get the data sets you create your custom reports do anything you can generate it in an excel pdf whatever you want you can do that okay tosca query language and that is integrated with list and label tool which can generate beautiful reports beautiful reports okay reporting section defect management defect management is something which is not so popular model uh, section of tosca but you can do that you can create a defect you can create a feature request and you can assign those feature request or a defect to a run that can be done test suite maintenance as i have already marketed or told the benefits test suite maintenance you can see that you have selected 10 test cases and for all those uh, or these four test cases for all those four test cases you want to insert before or after what particular thing you want to do you can merge your module you can rescan you can do the merging of test cases those all things can be done beautifully with tosca even if you have created a lot of mess also if you know tql to a good level you can manage the test suite very easily okay test data management this is also a feature tosca provides that you can create your own database to manage the test cases and test data so that you need not have to rely or you need not have to depend on a database team or a functional team to give you the test data whatever test data you created you can store it or you want to query something and get a test data so that you store it like that also you can do it so for that tdm is a concept there is a external repository means you can create external data interacting without interacting with external databases okay sometimes what happens you create an order number and then you need to create a query to the database to get the order number you need not have to do that you just create your test test data and test data you save it into the database so that you can use it next time those all things can also be achieved with tosca okay now this is something which you might be interested why tosca is 
able to identify test objects of different types of applications because it has different types of engines engines which identifies test objects of that particular application so you can do web based sap siebel you can do power builder you can do mainframes you can do database db engine is database you have flash applications host engine is for mainframe html java manual nodes pb pb is power builder siebel vb web services web services is for uh, any xml or json or anything okay apart from that now let's move on database testing how many people know that database testing can be done by tosca yes it can be very easily done by tosca you just need to give the dsn name user id password connection string you write your query get the result in the uh, database results and all tosca also helps so that's why tosca is just not an automation tool you can do tosca bi there is an add-in which tosca can do if you do then you can perform etl sort of testing like if you want to see whether the source and the transformation after source the destination table has that particular thing or not you can do that achieve that okay with tosca bi but for tosca bi you need to uh, pay a little bit more to get a new licenses for tosca bi there are two companies whom i know hsbc and bufa they have a tosca bi but apart from that tosca bi i have not seen anywhere okay web services testing you need not have to code a little bit also for achieving a web services testing to to do web services testing with tosca it is very very easy and web services it's not only for the soap means mostly soap and the rest services but different different type of data requests can be handled by tosca that is xml json odata odata is generally for the sap applications fury applications sap fury how do you interact and all okay that is very very easy you can see that this is the api testing and all okay now cross browser testing it becomes a little bit of trick to manage the cross browser testing even uh, in uh, most of the applications most of the selenium and uh, uft and all i you can scan your test objects using tosca in firefox chrome and internet explorer and in order to just run it into same test case can be run in uh, multiple browsers you just need to change the configuration parameter it's so simple you just maintain internet explorer it will run in internet explorer if you run maintain chrome it will run in chrome firefox it will run in firefox mobile application testing you can achieve via tosca that is also you can do android ios and you can do native hybrid and web applications okay so if you ask me mobile applications not so matured model of tosca but yes they have given a facility you can also do a load testing with tosca but for that you need to pay for because tricentis has partnered with flood.io which is a cloud-based hosting platform for load testing so you the advantage is that the same tosca script can be loaded in these hosted environment so that you can perform your load testing you need not have to and it is paper use mechanism so there will be a cost involved in it okay so that's what i have uh, and uh, i'll go back to the same slide earlier one so this was testing type supported i have just mentioned database web services and uh, cross browser load testing exploratory testing also is a concept given by tosca so let me just go to this exploratory testing so tosca says that you also for, for this exploratory testing also you need a little bit of extra cost you need to procure that license so that you can do exploratory testing what happens that mostly when you go and do uat and all you do not you will not go and instruct your uat users to create your test cases or use your test cases only to test the 
uh, scenarios. They are the business experts. You ask them, you do whatever you want to do, but at least I need to know what they have done. So Tosca says, instead of going by that mechanism, you just tell them that you invite them. It is similar like test planning thing only. You create a session and you invite them. The moment you send an invite, a mail will go to them to start their test case. And the moment they start the test case, all your results will come, whatever they have done, that will come as a test entry, as an entry back to your machine. It is working as a master slave sort of thing. Only the slave machines will be the user's machine whom the invite has been sent and the master will be your machine where you will get all the results captured automatically. Okay, so this exploratory testing is a concept given by Tosca only. So in limited number of time and limited amount of time, you can do maximum testing. Okay. So that's what I have for the webinar and a demo sort of thing. If you want, I will keep a pause here. And if you have any questions, we can go ahead. Uh, uh, hi, no, Manisha. I... Yes, one at a time. Who no. wants to? Huh. Yeah, Manisha. So right now yeah. I'm, I'm a functional tester and uh, automation world is totally new for me, whether it is Q2P, Selenium or Tosca. So according to you, like uh, as a trainer or like, what do you suggest? Where should I go? See, if you see, I, uh, no one knows about the market, where it will go and what it will happen uh, in this turbulent times. But uh, if you are new to the automation world, yeah, start exactly. with so that it gives you some understanding how the automation world works so that you need not have to start digging your head around coding and all. Okay. And then slowly, slowly, if you want, if you get opportunities in other fields like uh, Selenium and all, just to capture the market, you can go ahead with that. But to start directly with Selenium and all, it will take long time. Frankly speaking, when I started with Selenium, then it took me some time to get into the Selenium world. Because first of all, I'll tell you frankly, uh, how the complexity increases. The complexity increases, first you need to know Java, okay? Then you need to know Selenium, jar files, okay? That's not enough. Then you need to know the framework like TestNG, Okay. After knowing these things, you are at least good enough to work in the project. But there you need to work, understand the framework. Framework in the sense how the particular person works, means how that particular project works. The framework can be BDD, TDD, behavior driven. It can be something like uh, uh, POM. You can have some self-built framework also which is not at all you have some hybrid framework also there can cucumber be framework, right? sorry cucumber framework right a uh, cucumber will be for bdd only mostly when you opt for bdd okay. then you can sure. for, uh, uh, cucumber only okay. cucumber is a tool okay. which supports okay. the bdd framework okay 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 sure okay sure so this is the framework thing. And after that, if there is a troubleshooting required, then there is no support. You uh, but add... still, I'm not getting one thing, uh, like only one one a small question. Like suppose if I have to launch the browser, like so in the Selenium, we have to write a driver dot new dot something like that, right? This is something kind of a structure in mm -hmm. that. But you are. Yes. There is no need to write a, a script. So how the driver will launch or how the browser will launch in something like that. Okay, so here I have already opened a Tosca tool. Okay, so this is the Tosca tool. Yeah. Just I will show you just because you all have asked. Okay, so this is the test cases. So I am into the test cases section and sure. standard T box X engine, not this one. Uh, random test cases login test case design you can see this is the open url yeah that's it open sure. url you the url that's it 
Oh, and this is kind of click it. something like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need not have to say anything. You have to just mention your URL. URL it will launch. That's all. Oh, great, great. So you need not have to do dev web driver that so many. Even if you do web driver, nothing will happen. You have to do first of all system dot properties and all those things settings you need to do then only. I have Eclipse also. If you want, I can show you the comparison also. Okay. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah. Okay, okay, fine. Thanks, thanks, thanks for this. Hi, sir. Okay. This is Sujay here. Yeah? Yes, Sujay. Um, yeah, the, you have the uh, online training session is there, no? Yes. So it is every day or every weekend? No, um, uh, I generally take Monday to Friday, one class. So that is what I have in my bucket. No, um, every day how many hours? One hour. One hours. Yes. Okay. okay. And also duration? Duration will be maximum four to five weeks. Four to five weeks. And uh, to be frank, I will, I uh, mean, everything which I told you that is about Tosca, but uh, the training will be happening for AS1 and AS2, which will cover all the sections which I am showing, except, except mobile testing, because if you go into the organization, no one is going to do uh, mostly mobile testing with Tosca. Unless and until they have automated everything, now nothing is left, do mobile testing. Like that, it will happen. So what I am going to, and load testing. Anything which is requires external, extra license thing, that I am I will not be able to tell. Extra you will provide cost. any demo software, Tosca, so I can, uh, in training session, we can explore and yeah, everything. Yeah. Any anyone can download uh, the software from Tricentis support portal or Tricentis site. That we can cover it when 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 we are in the classes. But Trial it, it is the demo software or it is certain period of time. Trial version. It will be a trial version that will be for 14 days, and then we can think of there are ways by which we can overcome that 14 days also. Okay. Okay. After 14 days, I can't do anything. That's what I told now that there are ways we have to figure out those ways. Okay, that I cannot tell now. Right. Yeah, sure. And hi, sir. This is Mohammed here. Yes. Hello. Mohammed. Really, yes. To be frank, I'm recently graduated and uh, I'm a new to this field. So I'm basically uh -huh. a fresher. Uh, so, what you suggest me to do, like uh, I'm uh, looking for this job in testing field. And I don't have any uh, knowledge in this testing field. So I'm thinking to choose uh, a course which would be good for my future and as well as uh, to, grab, to grab a quick uh, job in this field. So what do you suggest, sir? Well, what is the uh, I means graduation? What, what, I mean, what, what field you have done? Sir, uh, I'm a 2018 graduate. Uh, but I had backlogs, so I cleared in 2019. So 2019 you know, is my path. Uh, well, what is which engineering or what what did you do? Uh, which stream, stream he is asking? Electronics which and stream, which... Okay, so what I would suggest, what I would suggest, go for some. Uh, means you have some time to come back into the testing world. Okay. Struggle a little bit. Don't go directly into the testing world because you can come back to testing world anywhere. Means uh, I don't know how many people will find that very much interesting. My comment, but uh, I would suggest go for some development activities and then struggle a little bit. Get some testing is something which you can come back anytime. Okay. 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 And especially automation testing. If you are if you are a graduate, look for some courses like go for cloud based some courses to understand how the cloud applications are built or something where you can penetrate a bit more but if you want definitely if you want to learn i will be there to help you that is not a problem but but uh, uh, what about the job opportunities sir if i get this course job opportunities as i mentioned that will be 60 40 70 30 in some sometimes so like out of 60 automation testing jobs 
no 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 uh, he is asking uh, about uh, he, as he is a fresher so what are the job opportunities so regarding me uh, it will be less right so for freshers lesser opportunity Hi guys. Hi yes. Sorry for the response. Chaitra, you have. Uh, 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 please unmute your mic. Hello. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is Ch- this is Chaitra. I have done my AS yes, one and AS two certification uh, three months back, and I have mm-hmm. uh, manual testing experience, and also for some little time, I am I am having uh, QTP experience as well. With that experience, I just uh, thought of change my job. I'm I'm getting uh, calls from most of the big companies like Infosys, Accenture, etc. Uh, mm-hmm. So my question is, um, if uh, the properties test objects are not identified by the four methods, what you said, uh, if they are not identified in any any of the four methods then oh, what's the solution uh see uh, i have not experienced that particular scenario that mm-hmm. if it is not identified but there are ways uh, like if you can identify by parent okay so that means if your ch- child object and the parent object simultaneously you identify that both of the things so the fi- when you i can give you one example uh, uh if i'm not wrong where exactly identify by parent there was some example somewhere it was i don't know uh, i because you asked but yes identify by parent and you have something called identify by xpath you can use identify by xpath and xpath if you write a generic xpath definitely it will find out okay properties also not by one properties you can select multiple properties also to identify one single object okay there are ways by which you can identify objects uniquely there are very few scenarios where it was not identified if it is not at all identified by all these mechanism then there is no way you have to you have to go either on a image based scan mechanism okay or you might have to do something like tab mechanism tab mechanism like you randomly put not randomly you have to put uh, send keys and tab and all those things when it comes into that particular position if the whole application is not identified then there is no way you have to go go for uh, Uh, tricentis and the tricentis will take some money and then they will create a custom engine for you okay there is no way beyond that uh, uh, chitra uh, this is kiran uh, i have one question yes kiran so yeah how do we extract only special characters or uh, numeric characters or any uh, characters from the uh, inner text like uh, we will get some auto numbers right whenever we generate some orders or something like that yes. we want only to extract only special characters or something like that so will the regex uh, uh, function works just now i was showing regression and i'm testing this can you see yeah this is what you want to know right that 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 random regex is something like will create the random uh, re- uh, regular expression uh, characters yes. but i want to extract uh, the auto number uh, which which populates uh, when there we tell there is a concept called uh, there is a concept called xb 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 which you can use and you can find out i can tell you i'm not sure whether it is there Hold on, I'm just finding out the sample for you. Okay. 
can you see the inner text of this particular price was having price colon and then some price value so the item price whatever comes that will be coming into this variable okay so like this concept you can use it okay uh, i have two questions shatam yes uh, one is like according to you now everybody is talking about the automation so now according to you what is the future scope of the manual tester or manual testing and my second question is that uh, how much uh, you know confident and comfortable will i be after completing this uh, uh, this training conducted by you to to perform the actual real time work in the company okay so if you if you practice uh, so first of all i will go to the first question the manual testing nowadays the demand is not when you go into, out in the market the demand is whether yeah. you know automation testing or not there is no demand that you know functional testing or manual testing okay so the there is no demand at all to be frank though there might be a scenario that you have been uh, uh, means asked asked in the interview that you know manual automation testing you know what all tools you have worked and all those things and after getting into the organization right. there might be a chance they will ask you to do the manual testing there might be a chance but right yeah. so that is what is the cases flexible in the sense that they can do manual testing they can do database testing they can do whatever testing with organization wants if there is a need to automate they can automate That's okay it. that is that. sure so in near future now coming back to the second question right, right. yes shall i answer one last question of his and then come back to you sujay yes yes sure okay so the second question how confident you will be after this particular course so yeah. if you go ahead with this particular course and if you practice and uh, you have that as1 and as2 certification so you will definitely you will definitely be able to automate things. but yes real time okay. scenario you need to uh, so there are two things you have one good thing is that this is a support based tool you can raise tickets you can mm -hmm. get your query okay second thing sure you can you have a very good materials as a, a mm -hmm. sequential material which has been provided by tosca but that unless and until you go ahead with at least one course you will not be able to mm -hmm. figure out you will not be able to figure out what to read from where correct okay so okay one, okay sure. a document of 1200 pages you will not be able to cover up everything right so okay. after that i have to con uh, you know cover that as1 and s2 certificate i have to pass that uh, like yes uh, okay okay sure. then only it will be useful for you okay. yeah, Purushottam, i have one question Hello, okay. Sujay. okay i was take, about to take sorry i was about to take sujay's question yes sujay yeah yeah my question is that um, if we, if you will provide the 14 days the software for demo software mm -hmm. if, uh, after but 14 days after 14 days the software will expire so yeah. in session by other than any crack or any something you will provide for after training we can do the practice and sessions you can do the practice continue uh, that's what I told just now, right? Uh, that uh, we'll discuss that when you are in the classes, right? If you are, <laughs> right? Because okay. that, I mean, that is something okay. which I. Uh, you have the course course fee. That some. Um, ah. Hello. Ah. <laughs> yes, yes. Who was about to speak? Yeah, this is the course fee. Which is the course fee? I did not get. Yeah, the the, the one month course fee. You told me that every day, one hour. It will take four weeks. Yes, yes. So, 
load the course free. Uh, the course fee is something you need to discuss with Mind Magic at all. So, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I have one more question. Yes, yes. So the we have uh, some uh, classic models and T box model, right? So I yeah, have one right. challenge like. Uh, yeah yeah when uh -huh. i when i uh, verify the length of, length of the characters we are using uh, calc method, uh, cal function Very so good. we have some escape characters yeah we have some escape characters so for format is different from classic and the t box so what does Correct. it mean that like, escape uh, characters in the sense that what is that you want to do in the calc function i want to verify the length of the characters verify the length of the character okay so what actually i didn't get that i didn't get that through even uh, uh tricent is uh, uh this one uh, knowledge articles also so uh -huh. i got, yeah i got uh, this is what some confusion between that escape characters so you uh -huh. are okay just <laughs> okay, okay. checking something i don't know whether i've done it Whether you are interested in the classes or um, <laughs> because this is something which uh, I don't know. See, you can do that uh, if you are asking the answers or the solutions. I have uh, I means uh, uh, any Excel function escape characters in the sense like you have something like you want to know the length of the text which is having something like double quotes also. Is that something yeah, which you are looking yeah. at? Yeah, yeah, yes. Ah, Whenever sorry. we verify from the Excel sheet, yeah. Yes, if you have double quotes and all, then there will be a tricky thing. What I would suggest is remove the double quotes first. First, you remove the double quotes, and and I might have to look into that particular thing because if you remove the double quotes and then. Uh, there would be some solutions which may have. what type of text you are looking at if you can ping me then i can think of something and contact you later or something i don't know okay i, I will just ping you yeah because that is something which i don't know unless i look at that particular string i will not be able to do something okay Anything else, anybody? And uh, one more uh, question, is it uh, necessary to use the exploratory sessions or something like, uh, I don't see uh, exploratory scenarios or this test planning sessions are used. Uh, ah, no, 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 that's definitely not being used. Yeah. Here is the test planning. Because we have a uh, integration with the Qt, Qt test manager also, right? So, so many people for the releases, test plan, uh, these things on the static apps and all, they use Qt test manager, uh -huh. which is integrated with this. But I don't yes. see this exploratory. Exploratory scenarios is like uh, the one who can quickly run the execution or for the business okay. users. Here it is exploratory. You can see here, you can right click and here create folder, wait a minute. Create folder and under this folder you have this option for exploratory testing folder and after this exploratory testing folder you have to create a session and all this user needs to go for an invite if you go here 
can you see start new and then you have to send an invite start new or something we need to do it what happened so this is this is my scenario which i am creating in my machine but it is nothing like we are but uh, if we, if you need to send an invite or something there has to be uh, uh, exploratory testing add in or something that needs to be purchased then only it will happen otherwise it will not be okay anything else okay and we have a reporting right so we can can we customize our own reports uh, for the yes, you can customize but uh, you can you can customize but uh, that is something which i am not covering in this particular uh, yes one and yes reports okay the report an advanced level because unless and until people are good in tql they will not be able to understand it so here if you go design report and then this is a there will be a new utility coming into the picture so i can tell you so many things because i have been working but the things is it will not make any sense unless and until you know how to write a ql a tql so that you can okay. okay so like uh, so what are the concepts will be covered like will it be covered like dex uh, architecture or uh, tdm tds all these things will be covered okay. in so if you want to if you want to look at it i generally okay hold on a second send time this is my work content can you see the second so various methods of test object identification test case creation of test case understand various excel modules automate tables result count and all and here you can read through it reusable tested blocks business parameters this is this ways of my rescan module merge value range dynamic id use of if repetition do and while uh, usage of execution section usage of requirement section understanding working method these all three whatever as1 and as2 topics which you are seeing that will be covered within by three weeks okay and then these all things one week i generally take it might take one one and a half week also sometimes okay so i am also covering custom module how it is tc shell tql tql i'm just mentioning basics because i do not know what scenarios you will be landing up into okay okay basics of tdm tql tc shell tdm is the test data management okay so and web services api scan you might be seeing that here if you see there is an api scan also api oh okay i need to close this okay so this one reporting section i'm removing it api scan so this is what is there you can see the request and the response request and the response so wherever you go you will be getting this uh, what do you say excel application few t box modules web services tdm though it looks like one one but each and every topic i will be covering one one day tdm one day tql one day tc shell custom module apis can generally two days this test is designed this test is designed to three days okay so purushottam uh, so in short uh, we can say like that what can be done with the selenium it can also be done with the tosca with any web yes. application or like everything whatever you can do with selenium can be done by tosca okay okay thank you thanks
Anything else or shall we drop off? So like how to contact with the admin or they, they will uh, uh, send us a message regarding the fee structure and all. Uh, I'm not sure who all are there on the call. Purushat, I'm there. I'm there in the call actually mine from mind magics Manish, uh, you can okay. contact me at mind magics like info at the red of mind magics You can drop an email or you can text me uh, so that we sure, can sure. we can we'll, we can directly contact you. Okay Sure, sure fine fine. If Thanks. You thanks, thanks you thank you here. So if you can text me your number I can con call you sure. after this session Sure, sure Okay, sure Anything else, Manish or anybody? So, Manish, I, I was looking at your chat. That uh, this is really what what honest answer? What honest answer answer I gave? <laughs> uh, the uh, one fresher is talking about the entering into the world. So, I think you you gave him a very very good. Uh, instead, you can say that you just directly do, uh, joined my this Tosca, and I'm going to provide you this training, and you will be blah blah blah. So, instead of this, you you put on a very uh, you know honest answer actually. First, you have a you are just a fresher, and you have a lot to do. You can also go with the development, and if you are boring with that world, so you can now. After that, you can uh, come into this automation world. So I really yeah, why, appreciate. Why? Why to? Uh, because he's young; he can move into anywhere. Yeah, exactly. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Manish. I understand. <laughs> because we were not given choice, we could have done better, right? But at least if yeah, he's exactly. having a choice, why should we say something? Just for a fresh air. Let's not lure somebody. Uh, but I would like to say one thing on that. So, like, uh, if there are no developers, then there are no product to use. But if there are no tester, then there are no useful test, useful product. So I always believe in this. <laughs> no, no, I am with you on that because uh, <laughs> one is true. So let him, let him explore. Let him explore if he feels exactly. He is just a fresher, actually. Yes. So if he yeah. if he does not explore that what is my potential, then yeah exactly. If he, if he excels in that, then it is good only. That if he does not, then he can come back. Yeah exactly. Okay. Anything which you want to know, let uh, Mind Magics know, or you can contact via Mind Magics. You can see the things. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much.